the United States of America, summer 2003. 12 months on from my original trip to see the Evil Knievel week, I was back once again on a Knievel inspired pilgrimage. This year my journey started in the unlikely setting of Las Vegas. You can gamble all night and recreate some of Evil's daring jumps on rows and rows of slot machines. On from Vegas, I also travelled to Twin Falls in Idaho. Back in 74, Evil attempted to leap the stunning Snake River Canyon in his sky cycle. There's reminders of Evil's career throughout the States, but I was heading back to where it all began, back to his hometown, Butte, Montana. Hi, I'm Bill Rundle, and I'm Executive Director of Evil Knievel Week, and I'll tell you what, if you have a chance to come to Butte, Montana, you should be here because Evil Knievel Week is the most unbelievable thing happening in the United States. It's new, we're only into it two years, and uh, we're here just to have a whole lot of fun and celebrate Evil, and uh, uh, it's just a great place to be. One of the people involved in putting together the celebrations is Bob Oxo Corbett. My name is Bob Corbett. Um, I live here in Butte and I am uh, involved with the Evil Knievel Days Committee and I do all of the graphic works. I do the posters and the badges and the ads for the radio and TV and so on. And I'm involved with it because I go back a long way with Butte and with Evil. And I think that uh, uh, Butte is a very, very unique place, and Evil could only come from a place like Butte, and, and a unique character like Evil Knievel could only come from a place like Butte. And w right now, with uh, uh, the downturn that's happened in Butte, economically speaking, there are groups of people in Butte who want to try to turn that around by having events such as Evil Knievel Days, and make it so that people come from all over the world and have a great time and go back uh, uh, having enjoyed themselves and of course leave a few dollars here in the process and make it so that uh, Butte becomes a party town and has uh, events like this. I'd like to see one every month or every week. The Evil Knievel Days event also had various biking shows. Reckless Rex was there to perform wheelies even though I'd heard he'd been injured in practice. Uh, I'm just going to be doing some wheelies here. Uh, kind of a short area so I'm going to have to be careful. Yeah, I broke my foot uh, in practice about a week ago. Rex didn't disappoint, and neither did the awesome motorcycle team, SCS. Evil Days is a great opportunity for fans to buy merchandise. Well, if you miss this one, you don't want to miss the next one because they just get bigger every time. This year, a little bit better, a little more, a little more, a little more bikes. We're gonna have a great time here. So come to Butte, Montana, the home of Evil Knievel. If bikes are your thing, then Knievel Days is a great opportunity to see them close up. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to rub shoulders with a motorcycle legend. I caught up with Evil as he signed autographs and greeted fans. 
I wanted to ask him one question. Yeah, come on to view, you people from the United Kingdom. Come on over here. <laughs> you don't know how much I'm glad to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Spanky Spangler had returned, this time to perform a nighttime car jump. I watched the preparations with interest. I'm Daredevil Doug, I'm from San Jose, California, here at Eagle Week 2003, in front of Spanky Spangler's big jump, which is going to happen tonight. There's my bike, brought all the way from California. Looking forward to a good time and keeping everyone safe. Spanky was to jump using a kick ramp and flip his car to hopefully land safely on cars. I wanted to ask him how he felt, risking his life for the Knievel Day's events. Well, it feels great. You know, the first year we, we pulled off, you know, some pretty, pretty good stunts here. And uh, the crowd was fantastic. I looked down, there was probably 15,000 people below. I thought I was in New York City, but I wasn't. I was in Butte, Montana. So that was pretty good. And you know, when you do stuff you know, for, with Evil Knievel or for Evil Knievel, it's, it's a great honor. He's been a great man and uh, I'm out there, I do all the dome shows because of him. He opened the door for everybody. So, you know, I owe him a lot, so I'm here to do that for him. This year, even more bikers came and rode with Evil. The uptown area is the start of the Evil Knievel loop. If you're in Butte, it's not to be missed. Well, with another hat on and another life, I am the president of the OXO Foundation, which is the home of the shiniest Oldsmobile on earth. Uh, it's a 1970 Oldsmobile, it's completely covered with mirrors. Butte was known as the richest hill on earth, so I called the Oldsmobile the shiniest Oldsmobile on earth. And uh, it's got uh, flamethrowers coming out the back and purple fog, uh, neon underneath it. And, to drive it around is a real experience. Your, your jaw hurts from smiling after driving it for three blocks. The night of Spanky's car jump had arrived. The tension was unbelievable. One of the riders from the SES team who'd injured himself earlier in the week was also there. My name's Justin Moyer. I'm here for uh, Evil Knievel Days in Butte, Montana. And I was here for the freestyle demo and unfortunately had a little incident and broke my foot. But I think uh, Evil Days is a great way to honor Evil, and he did so much for our sport. We wouldn't be where we're at right now if it wasn't for him. I hoped everything was going to be okay for Spanky. He's probably the greatest car jumper in history but there's always that chance things can go wrong. He 
I've done it so many times that I'm sure he's, yeah, he asked me to pray for him. Really? really he's just asked, is there anything I can do for him? He's just pray for him. So, I imagine, you know, he's going through a lot. Spanky had missed the cars. Things were not looking good. I could only hope that inside the wrecked car, he was still alive. Spanky emerged without scratch. Evil was one of the first to go over and congratulate him. That was spectacular, I thought. Awesome. That was pretty damn good. He puts on a good show. broke his ramp and he's lucky he didn't end up about a block down the street. Awesome. That's a life of a daredevil. As the week drew to a close, we still had more live music and an auction. If anyone knows how to have a good time, it's the people of Butte, Montana. This is uh, fun in the United States. Good, good clean fun. <laughs> Well, let's get going and get this auction going. If you're interested in looking at this helmet, it's signed by Evil Knievel, it's signed by Spanky Spangler. It's a one of one, nobody else will ever have one. There it is. And I, I have $200 that I'm going to put in there to start it off. So I have $200, I'm looking for $250. I got 250, I'm looking for 300. I got 300, I'm looking for three and a half. I got three and a half, I'm looking for... I was very surprised to see the person bidding on the auction was my brother Lawrence. Let's go, 550, I have 550, I have 600, I got six and a half. I have 700 dollars, come on. Now I'm looking for 800 bucks. I got 800, I got eight and a half. I got 900. I've got a $1,000. Now, hey, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go. Let's go. $1,000. I got 1100 1200 We have $1,200. Come on. Let's go. $1,200. We're looking for $1,300. I got $1,300 up in front. 14. We're looking. We have 1400 right out of London, England, for God's sake. Let's go. $1,500. $1,600. It's only $100 away from the 15, 16, 17. I'm looking for $1,700. $1,700, I'm looking for 18. One time, I'm going to ask you one time, $18. $2,000. $2,000. I got $2,000. I have $2,000 for this helmet. It's a one of one. You're not going to have no one else has one like it. I got $2,100, $2,200, it's going to London, I know that, $2,200, $2,200, $2,200, we have $2,200, $2,200, we have $2,200, we have $2,300, alright, I 
I have 2300 These guys aren't going back, leaving the U.S. without buying this helmet. $2,400. $2,400. Let's go. One on one. I got 20. Is that 2500 I got $2,500. I don't know what you're going to do now. All right, here we go. This helmet is going to London, England. It's a one up one. I have $2,500 going once. I have $2,500 going twice. It's sold going to London, England for $2,500. Get these guys So my brother had won the auction, a great reminder of another fantastic week in Butte, Montana, in Knievel days. Well, we, we, Evil Knievel days finished last night, and today we moved all the trailers and did all the work we had to do and, and uh, put that behind us, and now we leave again. Uh, so I have one day to finish up business tomorrow and back on the road again Tuesday morning to go to Sturgis. I need some old pictures. And there's Eddie Keith. That's a rare picture. And there's a picture of Eddie and Robbie and I before uh, we had a jump off, and that was in Bay St. Louis. No, in fact, that one there was in Panama Beach, Florida. And that was the best of three jumps? Uh-huh. Was she running on the total and, and distance? Won. These ones were, when after we first started getting this put together, as you, if you look at that, that's the only poster that was made in 2003 that doesn't say Evil Days. The best thing about Evil Knievel Week is to know that if you have a family and you, ha you don't have any money, that you can bring your children to watch the freestyle motorcycle jumpers, to watch Spanky Spangler, to meet Evil, to, to do whatever we're doing, and it doesn't cost you anything. So that's, to me, is the best part of Evil Week, that we, we cut nobody out, and we raised the money ourselves, and, and so the people that... that, uh, that don't have the money to bring their children to an event like this, still get to come. So when you see all these smiling faces and these little children walk around smiling and gleaming, to me, that's when you sit back and say all this hard work and everything we, we have done, it, it, it makes it well worth it because it's we do it for everybody.